We're getting the information directly from Ethiopian Airlines, which issued a statement just a short while ago confirming that their flight 302 that left just after 8.30 a.m. local time has crashed just about six minutes into the flight. The flight carried approximately, they believe, 157 people on board and was traveling from the capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, to the Kenyan capital of Nairobi. And it crashed only six minutes into the flight. That's when they believe it went down. This is a Boeing 737. They believe it was carrying 149 passengers, eight crew members, and um, they lost contact with the flight maybe just a few moments in, and that's when the crash took place. Let's remind you what the flight manifest says, that they were on their way to Nairobi and at this stage we know that there are search and rescue operations taking place. The airline is saying that they have no information about possible survivors so it does not look good. All those people on board have believed to have been killed and this is devastating news for the country, really, because this is a state-owned airline. Ethiopian Airlines was meant to be used by the Prime Minister to really bolster travel to the continent and to specifically encourage investment in the country. We've heard from the Prime Minister today. Let's bring up his tweet where he has said, the office of the Prime Minister says on behalf of the government and the people of Ethiopia, they're expressing their deepest condolences to the families of those they have lost, their loved ones, as a result of the Ethiopian Airlines um, used to to five nationalities. And uh, regrettably, Kenya is the highest in, with 32 passengers on board. We are here to confirm the fit of those passengers, uh, and that's why we are sending senior officials to Ethiopia uh, to be able to coordinate the sourcing of information in a better fashion. Ethiopian Airlines says all 157 people have been killed in the crash of a Boeing 737 MAX jet. The airliner lost contact with air traffic control minutes after taking off from Addis Ababa to Nairobi. Kenyan, Ethiopian, Canadian, Chinese passengers are said to be among the dead. The plane was the newest version of the 737. It was just four months old. Uh, the tracking website Flight Radar 24 says the plane had an unstable vertical speed. Well, let's bring in our correspondent, Melanie Cora Dabal. She's in Nairobi, where the flight was headed. She's been following the latest developments for us. Hi, Melanie. Uh, we just heard there from Kenya's transport secretary on the nationalities on board. Uh, we understand that people have been gathering at Nairobi Airport, uh, the flight's destination. Tell us more about that. Yes, people are outside Kenyatta Airport at this moment. They have been gathering there. This is where the flight was supposed to arrive at around 10.30 a.m., but it never did. No, it doesn't have a poor safety record. Ethiopian Airlines is an extremely safe airline. It's one of the largest in Africa, and they operate very safely, very securely. They're one of the most trusted airlines in Africa. If you're referencing what happened in 1996, that was a very rare and extremely unusual circumstance that was over 20 years ago. But since then, the airline is extremely trusted. It's in line with all safety standards around Alex, the world. And it does offer sorry to, to jump yes. in, but there is a history of hijackings with that airline, is there not? There was a sole hijacking on Ethiopian Airlines, but that does no way put into the spotlight that this airline is somehow unsafe. This airline is a very safe airline. Even hijacking is listed among the causes of airline crashes. But you know, look at this. November 1996. A startled tourist captures the scene as a hijacked Ethiopian jet with 175 people on board crashes into the water off the Comoros Islands in the Indian Ocean. Only 50 survived the hijackers' forced suicide pact. During the four-hour ordeal, the plane lost an engine and its communications. One of the hijackers, bolstered by a bottle of whiskey, decided to fly the plane himself. As the crippled jet ran out of fuel, the pilot, who had been hijacked twice before, and the co-pilot, who had been bludgeoned with an axe, wrestled back control to lift the sinking airliner over a hotel and into the shallow water. Today is a very sad and tragic day for all of us, and for our passengers who are on board Ethiopian Airlines flight ET-302, a flight departing from Addis on its way to Nairobi. 
took off from Bode Airport <coughs> at 8.38 a.m. local time. And while it was in flight, at around 8.44, it had difficulties and it, lost, it was lost from radar, it would disappear. And I just came from the site where the accident took place. Mm -hmm. It is Boeing manufactured B Boeing 737A Max, brand new airplane, which we took delivery last year, end of last year, November 20, November 15, 2018. It has flown more than 1,200 hours. It's mm -hmm. a very clean airplane. It just came this morning from Johannesburg on a flight ET858 and arrived in Addis with no remark. And it was dispatched with no remark. The captain in command, his name is Captain Yared Murgeta. He was employed with Ethiopian Airlines since July 2010. And he has been a captain on the 737 since November 2017. He's a senior pilot, more than 8,000 hours. He's half Kenyan and half Ethiopian. Mm -hmm. He has been flying <coughs> with the very nice, with excellent flying record. There were 149. We deeply, we are deeply saddened again, and we express our deepest sympathies and condolences to the mm -hmm. families friends and relatives of our three passengers. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, just to give you a list of the passengers. <coughs> 32 passengers are Kenyan nationals. And 18 passengers are Canadian citizens, 9 passengers are Ethiopian citizens, 8 passengers are Italian citizens, 8 passengers are Chinese citizens, and there were American citizens, 7 British citizens, 7 French citizens, six Egyptians, five from Netherlands, Netherlands uh, citizens, four of them with a UN passport, four Indian citizens, four Slovakian citizens, three Australian, Austrian, Austrian citizens, three Swedish citizens, and three Russian citizens, two Moroccan citizens, two Spanish citizens, and two Polish citizens, two Israeli citizens, one Belgian citizen, one Indonesian citizen, one Ugandan citizen, and one Yemen citizen, Yemeni citizen one Sudanese, one Serbian, one Togolese, one Mozambican, one Rwandan, one Somalian, one Norwegian, one Tunisian, and one Irish, and one Saudi. Thank you.
in the toilet. Elias from the associate press. Have you so far determined the cause for the accident? Uh, is it a technical problem or you have identified other problems? No, uh, as it is a uh, uh, fresh incident, uh, accident now, we have not been able to determine the cause. As I said, it is a brand new airplane uh, with no technical remarks flown by senior pilots and uh, there is no uh, uh, cause that we cannot do at this time. But as you know, uh, it is international practice that uh, uh, international investigators, uh, equipment civilization investigators, uh, and also from the aircraft manufacturer from the US, uh, the NTC, who will be participating in the investigation. Uh, Adra Ahmed, freelance journalist reporting for the New York Times. Uh, can you confirm that among the passengers on the crash plane were the UN staff and diplomats on their way to the UN Environment Assembly to Kenya? Uh, the purpose of travel is not uh, indicated on uh, airline documents, as you know. But I can see that there are uh, two, uh, there are four UN uh, passports. Uh, you were on the <coughs> crash scene. How, how can you describe it? I mean, was it like a landing attempt or was it just a crash? Uh, how, how does it look like? Uh, uh, it is uh, mainland and the airplane is now right uh, inside the ground. So it is not possible to, uh, I, uh, to identify whether it was a landing or and there was fire on the plane also? Uh, by the time we reached there, there was smoke, small smoke. First off, I would like to thank uh, the IT senior management team to quickly respond to the media and disclose uh, what has happened this morning. Uh, we are all saddened. I heard it, I mean, 20 minutes ago, and uh, I changed my plan to come and, you know, hear what has been really happening. Uh, as you mentioned, you said this plane came from Johannesburg uh, this morning, and then it also departed this morning to Nairobi at 8.38 a.m. Can you tell us at what time the plane landed, and then uh, back into the plane, and then how many minutes of uh, checking have, uh, has the airline spent on this plane? That's one question. And uh, following to that, we know that the airline has been going uh, very big, and uh, we want, I mean, the public, actually, from the quick response that we got from the public, the public wants to know that, you know, if the expansion of the airline has anything to do with uh, the quality of the check or the investigation that we've done prior to sending this plane to the world. Thank you. I'm from Isaac Sabata. Thank you very much. Uh, the Johannesburg uh, flight arrived early morning. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the schedule is around uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, uh, we'll give you the exact time. But uh, uh, there was more than close to about three hours ground time. So uh, more than enough time in the airline industry. Uh, ground time practice. Uh, as I said, uh, the airplane is a brand new airplane with no maintenance re remark. Uh, so it was a clean airplane. So uh, at this stage, uh, we cannot uh, determine the cause of the accident. Uh, but from the records that we have, it is a clean airplane. It is a brand new airplane. We received it as a brand new airplane from Boeing uh, on November 15, 2017. So it's about uh, less than four months ago. Uh, 2018, uh, November 15, 2018 to be exact. Uh, so we, uh, there is no uh, uh, problem on the technical side. 
because it was the, 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 it was clear, clear the airplane flown to Johannesburg with the plane came back and uh, uh, the routine maintenance check didn't uh, reveal any problem. Uh, so uh, we are, uh, I confirmed that it was a clean airplane. Uh, the growth of the airline has nothing to do, uh, as I explained uh, to you right now, because it's a brand new airplane, well maintained, and uh, it has no relation with it. Thank you. Omar Adi, Spanish News Agency. Uh, you mentioned the four of the, the passengers were on uh, UN passports. Can you uh, <coughs> indicate the nationalities of those uh, UN Since passports? Since they have the UN passport, they always register UN passport. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> uh, did the captain make a distress call before the crash? That's yes. my first question. My second question is, uh, a similar aircraft had a uh, similar uh, accident in uh, Indonesia a few months back with, with the Lion Air. And there were some aviation experts who claimed that the aircraft has, Max aircraft has, uh, fault with uh, flight software. Um, from the uh, air, ATC, uh, air traffic controller's uh, record, uh, the pilot uh, mentioned that he had uh, difficulty and he wants to return. Uh, so he was given clearance. But, uh, to Addis. Uh, to Addis. Not to Bishop. Huh? Not to the Air Force. Uh, no, no, to Addis. To Addis. <coughs> and he was given clearance. Yes. And uh, as far as the uh, relation with the Indonesian uh, accident, we cannot, as I said. Uh, of course, they are the same uh, 737 dash eight max airplanes, and they are also both the same view. But uh, we will have to do this for uh, investigation. Do you have many other 737-8 MAX aircraft currently flying for Ethiopian Airlines? Yes. And are there any plans to uh, take another look at them? Well, uh, as I said, we don't know the exact cost or thought the cost as, as, uh, as at this time. So. Uh, the airplanes have been flying uh, all over the world with many airlines, so we will have to wait for the investigation. And how many are currently in service at the airline? Six. Six. Uh, six. You mentioned, sir, uh, that the... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. My name is Zenoto from Zambia. I just wanted to find out, because you, you mentioned that the plane had not taken before. Uh, are, we, are you able to also rule out some kind of sabotage from what happened? Because if you're saying the plane was new, it was checked, it had not taken for fault, then maybe, would you say maybe there was some kind of sabotage? And then the other thing I wanted to ask is, what assurance then do you have for passengers who are getting on Alex? As you know, it's very nice, is uh, uh, one of the safest airlines in the world. Uh, at this stage, we cannot rule out uh, anything. We cannot also attribute uh, the cause to anything because uh, we will have to comply with the international uh, regulation uh, to wait for the investigation to reveal the cause of the accident. You mentioned the pilot requested to return and he was given clearance. So can we say he the crash happened while he was back to Addis or on the same route? We, we cannot determine uh, that because uh, we can only know the coordinates where he had difficulty. And as I said, it was a very short period of time. He took off uh, at 8.38 and uh, the accident, uh, the aircraft lost, was lost from radar at 8.38. How far was, was the aircraft from the Air Force uh, site, the Japan Air Force? It is uh, a place called Hegeri, and uh, it is between Bishoftu uh, and uh, Moti. Thank you. Uh, what are you doing to the families uh, of the victims? Are you trying to give some kind of support? For example, we have seen some of them around the international okay. 
What we are doing is we have uh, an emergency center in Nairobi, the destination of the airplane. We have also an emergency center here at uh, the airport enterprise because uh, we have a large space there. So we are taking care of the uh, families and uh, we are supporting them during this difficult time for all of us. I am Tito from English and French Journalist. When will you publish the details of the passengers since one of the passengers in Indonesian citizen? We will follow the international regulations uh, to disclose uh, the details because, uh, as I told you, uh, we have to comply with the international regulation, international standard. So we are following that uh, procedure. If we really don't know what caused it, can we know what might have caused it? Is there a set of points? <coughs> it will be speculation at this stage. So uh, I think we uh, it is to uh, the best interest of all uh, stakeholders to remain uh, without any speculation because uh, uh, speculations are not good. So we will have to wait for the investigation. Two, two more details about the information of the victim. Is it the embassy would, would, should come to you to ask the detail, or you will send it to the embassy? We are dealing with each embassy. Dealing with embassy from Ethiopian airline. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. How long will it take to investigate? It will be difficult because, as I told you, it's not uh, only in our hands. Uh, there is international regulation, uh, uh, so the aircraft manufacturer. Uh, will be involved with the Ethiopian civilization uh, and also uh, the Ethiopian civilization again because the country of occurrence is also in Ethiopia. So uh, we will support the uh, fully support the investigation and we will cooperate uh, to make it uh, uh, successful as quickly as possible.